what's up you guys welcome back to another video so in today's video don't mind my fan but i'm girl i feel like everybody keeps telling y'all it's hot because it really is hot like i'm hot but anywho today's video we will be testing out the new laura mercier translucent ultra blur loose setting powder so i did pick mine up from sephora 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 um again i got the shade translucent because i do have honey in the original um i will say that you get more in the old in the original than the new one so the original one you get 29 grams of product and then you get 20 grams of product in the new packaging um the reason for the switch so they did add the ultra blur in here and then also this new powder is talc free so i know that there have been a lot of talk about products with talc in them um which we do know can cause cancer i do believe that there's a documentary on it i have not watched it uh, me personally whatever you feel is best for you i will still continue to use all of my makeup products but this is great for those that want to be more conscious of what they buy also in today's video we will be demoing the elf halo glow liquid filter so this is supposed to be a glow booster to give you radiant skin we will be putting this to the test um also this is not new but i did try as you can clearly see the rare beauty liquid blush in the shade grateful when i say girl pigmented pigmented like all of her blushes at rare beauty are pigmented but that one it was a little intimidating and then um i think that is it as far as new products you guys so without further ado, I don't want to hold you. Before we jump into the video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below as all of those things do help my channel. My goal is to continue to grow here on YouTube, although it is very hard, but that is my goal. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's look. Okay, so for starters, I want to go ahead and just kind of show you guys very quickly what is on the brows. So today for brows, I do use the City Colors Be Bold Brow Soap. Um, this is what it looks like in the inside, just like a clear gel. And I just kind of spoolie that up in my brows just to kind of give them a hold. I then went ahead and cleaned up the brows with my NARS. Um, this is the Soft Matte Concealer in this little pot. And I do have the shade Ginger. As you can see, I am almost out of this one definitely need to pick up another one very soon i have already primed and prepped my skin so for moisturizer today i did go ahead and go in with the versed gel moisturizer um which gel type moisturizers are perfect for oily combo skin because it still gives you hydration without you looking greasy or oily or too heavy on the skin so i do have that on for moisturizer um i am using the elf matte putty primer in my t-zone i am almost out of this one as well i already have a backup of that and then also for primer i usually go in with two primers i did use the milani chill out soothing primer so this is uh, a blurring primer it extends the wear of your foundation and it says it is a satin matte finish so using this as well for primer now i am going to go ahead and should i color correct i'm gonna color correct and then we are gonna go into the elf uh halo glow liquid filter and i will go ahead and read about all of the claims on this product all right you guys so to color correct i am going in with the la girl pro concealer this is in the shade peach so um obviously i do have some marks on my face where you know acne red bumps 
and then you know gotta conceal you know my little mustache um and i'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with this real techniques brush i believe it's like a concealer brush if i'm not mistaken but just going to go ahead and blend that out All right, you guys, so let's go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is a glow booster for radiant skin. It comes in eight shades, and to be honest, six of the eight shades are out of stock on e.l.f.'s website. Now, initially, um, me applying this, I'm like, girl, this looks like a whole foundation. Like, literally, it does. This, again, is in the shade number five, which is medium tan. I do feel like I can maybe go for shade number four, which is medium, but again, it's out of stock. So the details on this one is... is I don't lie. It says it is a full size multi purpose liquid glow booster infused with skin loving ingredients to give your complexion a soft focus social filter effect in real life. Um, it says it is a skincare makeup hybrid for glowing dewy skin. Complexion looks healthy and more radiant, can be used four ways. You can wear this alone, over or under makeup, mix with your foundation, or use as a highlighter enriched with skin loving ingredients like squalene and hyaluronic acid um great for all skin types so you do get 1.06 fluid ounce and this product i do believe elf is elf is vegan and cruelty free so again i could definitely see how i can use this one now again it's not a foundation but it's like a skin booster to give you a dewy look in so many words but it definitely can be mixed with just some concealer and you can go about your day um i am using my profusion foundation in the shade tan three so this is supposed to be a tan foundation with um yellow undertones um i do have sorry <laughs> I do have shade number one as well that I could have mixed with it, but I just didn't want too much product on the face today. All right, you guys. So now going in with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer in the shade um, Granola. So I'm just going to go ahead and conceal with this. The Profusion Foundation is sort of a dewy skin type of foundation, but I definitely don't feel like that is the reason why I do still see some type of radiance or glow where I placed the e.l.f. Uh, glow filter. And then for cream bronzer, we are going in with the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. I do have mine in the shade number three. So we are just going to put that on the tops of the cheek as well as the forehead. I'm not going to do too much with the makeup today. Um, I honestly just wanted to focus on the e.l.f. glow filter and as well as the Laura Mercier loose setting powder. I'm just using that same brush that I used for the foundation to just kind of blend out around those edges. But I am definitely looking dewy, girl. Definitely. All right, so let's talk about the Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Talc Free Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It does come in the three shades um, that the original does. So translucent, you do have honey, which is for medium skin tones with olive warm and golden undertones. And then you do have medium deep for medium deep to the deepest skin tones. So this is a loose powder formula, matte finish, fragrance free, hyaluronic acid, um, long wearing, best for dry combo and normal skin. It says it is a talc free loose setting powder that is infused with hyaluronic acid for comfortable, 
up to 16 hour wear and ultra blurring powder so initially looking at this once i applied it on the first side i'm like oh that looks good it looks blurring and it looks smooth what i will say it is definitely smooth to the touch um when i did smell this it has a different smell i know that it says it's fragrance free but you know how clean beauty products just smell different from everything else <laughs> that's not clean beauty so um i definitely noticed a different scent from this compared to the original laura mercier powder um it says it is what else let me see if i missed anything no so that is pretty much it regarding this powder so again this does retail for 44 dollars um the original one is forty dollars so this is four dollars more but i feel like you get more of a healthier benefit in this powder than you do the original so it is a four dollar price difference from the original one all right going in with the dior backstage face and body powder no powder this is in the shade four neutral so this is a very lightweight powder which i knew would not take away the radiance of that elf halo glow filter um booster whatever it's called <laughs> um also with this one i don't think that they have warm tones or anything like that i think every shade in the dior powder is neutral all right going in with the rare beauty liquid blush in the shade grateful when i tell you this is a true reddish orange color i feel like even the little amount that i just put on was way too much and it definitely scared me and it was even worse as i started to blend this out i did apply this after my powder which i don't usually do but i forgot and i definitely wanted to use it today yeah very intimidating a little bit truly 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 goes a long way so let me go ahead and blend this all <laughs> blend this out off camera <laughs> all right so i'm taking the one size bronzer trio um girl the one size bronzer trio in the shade medium why couldn't i get that out and i'm just going to use this to just kind of add some type of warmth back to the skin i do have medium and i have medium dark but i feel like today i just wanted to keep it simple like medium still shows up on me um i like the medium dark mainly for days if i'm wearing a lighter blush and i really just want my bronzer to stand out All right, so for highlighter, we are taking this Juvia's Place highlighter. It's the Heroin Glow Volume 1 Baked Highlighter. So this one is definitely uh, really golden. So I only apply just a little bit. Again, I don't usually like to add highlighter to the tops of my cheek anymore. But I feel like I don't need to because I want that um, e.l.f. glow booster to kind of peek through. Okay, so for today's lip combo, we are doing the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in the shade Intense Pillow Talk Intense Number no. 3, I believe. Um, so it is a very beautiful chocolate brown lip liner. I am going to go in just a little bit with the MAC Cork Lip Liner just to kind of fill in the lips a little bit and kind of, um, I feel like a lighter lip liner to kind of over overline the lips to give my lips that pouty look um so i definitely went in with two lip liners i personally don't care for mac cork though like i kind of feel like that lip liner is overhyped um i feel like you could just go to ulta or go to morphe.com and purchase the shade bite me for five dollars so for lip gloss, we are doing no lipstick today. I just wanted to definitely play with this lip gloss, girl. This is from the new Juvia's Place Garden of Juvia's collection in the shade Lavenza. And this was the shade that was out of stock initially. And I finally got my hands on it. And when I tell you, girl, go to Ulta, go to JuviusPlace.com and pick you up this lip gloss. I feel like for me, I would. it's pretty without lip liner because I did try it, but I don't think I will wear it like that. 
me personally I have to have some type of lip liner because I don't want to look washed out without one So, I definitely still see a glow peeking through from the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid, liquid Filter. Um, now, I can't do a dupe comparison because I never purchased the Charlotte Tilbury. I did not see the hype behind it. Um, that's just me personally as far as spending that much money on that but for fourteen dollars you got a glow from within without having to pack highlighter on top so i'm actually loving the concept because i really don't like applying highlighter on the tops of my cheek anymore i mainly just do the nose and the cupid's bow so i'm not mad at it i definitely see a little glow this girl you literally need a tinge of this i apply way too much but i'm not mad at it because i did not go in with any powder blush today i honestly just used this because that was enough as far as the laura mercier powder let me zoom you guys in real quick because i just don't so look at the under eyes it is definitely smoothing um I don't know I mean I'm not mad at it it does not feel as heavy as their original uh, translucent powder that I will say it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel cakey even though the original Laura Mercier feels heavy it doesn't look cakey if you get what I'm saying so um this is the look you guys I will definitely have to continue using these products I honestly would love to do a wear test but it is already six o'clock so unfortunately I cannot um go to Ulta and get you these Juvia's Place glosses this lavender is she's it she is it so that is it you guys I don't know if you can tell I'm excited because I really like the way this came out I do know that the blush for some people may be too much girl I'm not going nowhere it's fine it is what it is because as we know blush does tend to disappear throughout the day anyway so first initial thoughts application the way the under eyes look the way that the rest of the face looks that I have used to set this powder I definitely recommend this but if you are looking for something that is less expensive but does that is also talc free I highly recommend the elf halo glow setting powder I don't think that powder is no more than eight dollars you can find it at Target Walmart Ulta very inexpensive powder which is also talc free again this one retails for $44 so that's up to you if you don't mind spending the money on it um, again definitely I can tell the difference as far as the texture goes and as well as um, just like the application but I personally will still be using both um, I'm not gonna waste my 40 something dollars i'm just still going to use it but it's good that we have a, a another option 
As far as the blurring though, That is it, you guys. Thank you so very much for tuning in to today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care. Bye.